Hi there, it's Nicole here today and I have got a fairly simple card to create using Waffle Flowers layering marble stamp set and Starry Night stamp set. I love the marble layer stamp set. I wasn't sure if I was going to. I was so intimidated by it. And if you saw my flower on the Waffle Flower channel, my video on the Waffle Flower channel a couple weeks ago, I used this to create a marble background and absolutely fell in love with this stamp set. When I was looking at it, I thought it would make an incredible galaxy type background if paired with a moon image and some stars and things. So I'm gonna pair it with the Starry Night stamp set to create this kind of out of this world, shoot for the moon type of card. I need to start with the background, so I'm gonna build it with this layering marble stamp set using some Simon Says Stamp inks. My base color here is barely blue. It looks almost a little gray here in the video, but in real life it has that really nice barely blue look to it. Really, really pretty. I wanted to do something different than maybe a traditional marble look with some light grays and maybe flecks of gold and stuff. So I'm gonna skip all of that and simply layer three shades of blue to build my background. The second part of the layer is created with the Caribbean Blue ink from Simon Says Stamp. So this is gonna be quite a bit more of a blue color, a little bit deeper. My colors were completely chosen from my swatch book, which I know I've been talking about a lot throughout different videos here recently, and I will be sharing a video on that soon, showing you how I keep my swatch book. You guys, I can't believe how much of a help it is. It is phenomenal. So if you have a little bit of time here and there, creating a swatch book of the inks and inking products you have is such a time saver. I didn't have to stamp these images several times and see what looked good together. I looked at my swatches and picked three colors I thought looked nice and they are going together beautifully. I'm using the Misty to stamp this because almost every layer is stamped twice, especially that big base layer with the barely blue. That third layer, I was kind of talking too much, is soft navy. It is very subtle. There's only a very little bit to it, but it deepens and darkens up all of the rest of the design for that marbly galaxy type of look. I'm gonna keep uh, spinning my paper around, moving it around, moving these stamps around to build the marble background. The Misty is just absolutely fantastic for layering stamp sets of any kind because it makes it so much easier to line things up and stamp them perfectly every time. So here's that Barely Blue again. I'm cleaning everything with the Stamp Chamois. This is the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois. A lot of people have been asking what I've been using. I love it because unlike Baby Wipes, there's no lint. Um, and I really enjoy using it. If I need a little bit better clean, I use my scrubber pad from Hero Arts. You might have just seen that there with a little ultra clean. And then I wipe the stamps again with my stamp chamois to make sure they're completely clean. So there's that final layer of soft navy. Again, clean my stamps. I'm gonna scrub them because that soft navy is pretty dark and then just kind of wipe those all clean with my stamp chamois. So here is what my background looks like before I add anything else. Now there is a great spot that doesn't have a ton of layering in it um, with a darker Caribbean blue or soft navy colors, and that's gonna be great for the big moon image from Starry Night. So I'm gonna kind of position that where I want it to go Go ahead and use my magnets to hold everything down. And I'm gonna stamp this with that soft navy ink. I originally thought maybe black, but I think the soft navy is gonna look so much better with my galaxy type of look I'm going for here. Using the Misty again for an image like this, you can see the first impression did not stamp as dark or as solid as I want it. So stamping it again really makes that look so much better, so much darker and deeper and easier to read. So there's the moon image and you can see kind of that galaxy-like look behind it. 
There's lots of cute stars and constellations and all kinds of greetings in the Starry Night stamp set. I'm going to use some of these additional little stars and things to kind of surround my moon and then stamp throughout the card design using soft navy ink. So for these I'm going with that darkest of the three colors I'm using so that they show up. And just moving things around, positioning them, trying to figure out the best way to use everything. I don't want to add too much. This is one of those cards that's kind of more on the simple side of the scale. But I still want it to be, um, have all those little finishing details that really make it shine. So here's what I've got. I'm going to take a little Barely Blue now with an ink dusting tool and I'm going to add a little color to the background. The Barely Blue is super light, so it's not going to be really, really dark. In fact, it's a little hard to see, but it is going to take that stark white of my galaxy out of the design. I don't want that stark white background and this is such a light application. I get. I am a huge fan of this. I feel like I get better results from this than I do with a foam tool. I am not very good with dye inks and a foam tool, so I love the ink dusting tool for this. Now, I wanted to darken up just a little bit in a couple of areas, so I will grab my Caribbean blue and very, very lightly add just a little touch of that to the background. I don't want to go too dark because you're going to run the risk of darkening it so that that marble galaxy type look um, isn't going to be as prominent. And I just use that same side to ink that up. I've had a lot of questions about the ink duster. When I'm done using it, I do rinse it out with soap and water and let it air dry overnight. Next, I'm going to take a couple colors of Nouveau Crystal Drops and add even more to that galaxy type of look with the silver linings and liquid mercury colors. I kind of thought I'd use navy. That's the color you see up above there, or that midnight blue. But I decided against it. I really think just sticking to these silver colors is going to be better for my card. If any of them kind of have a little tip to them and aren't really nice and smooth on the top, I'm just tapping the back of my paper to smooth out any of those crystal drops that maybe don't have a nice rounded top to them. This will give some nice subtle dimension. This is going to be one of those cards that will mail really easily because it's almost a uh, a single layer card or it, it really is. I guess if I'd stamp directly on the the uh, card base it really would be. But this whole panel is just a single layer that's going to be adhered to a top fold card base. Now to make the moon really pop and have that glossy great finish you see in the finished photos, I'm applying a layer of glossy accents. I love glossy accents for this. The only thing is with an image this big, I did let it sit and dry um, for several hours. It really needed the time to dry because that's a lot of glossy accents, but I think it makes all the difference because where the dye inks kind of flatten out and give that matte look, when you add the glossy accents, it's nice and glossy and it's definitely the focal point of this galaxy card. Going to use some nice strong adhesive to adhere my panel to that top fold card base to soften the edges just a tiny bit. Because there's not a ton of embellishment here, I'm going to round it with a half inch corner rounder. And I almost got my fingers in that wet glossy accents. I probably should have done that before I added the glossy accents. And then I'm going to take a Stardust glitter pin and add detail to all those little galaxy dots and even the stars. Kind of just trace that shape and it's going to give it a little bit of a silvery soft navy look. Has some nice sparkle to it and finishes off this Starry Nights Marble Galaxy card perfectly. Thanks for joining me today for this card featuring waffle flower stamps. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.